If you like my cooking and want to watch my channel, please press this button right here that says subscribe. Just press it. And in this way, you will get to see my videos for free. Thank you. Today, I am sharing a delicious recipe of this kale chani that I made today. They are so delicious. It's a must try. So over here, I have uh, these kale chani. Two cups. Wash them like a couple of times and then just soak them for at least 12 hours. So here you go. I've added this uh, soap chana from overnight into the Insta pot and now I am just going to add water. You can put like 10 to 12 cups of water and uh, and also I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and then I will just uh, pressure cooker it for 20 minutes. So here you go on Instapot. I am selecting beans and I'm cooking it for 20 minutes over here in an Instapot. So here are the ingredients that you will be needing to make this delicious recipe with kale chane uh, right here. So I have taken boiled, they're boiled, and uh, they're about uh, three cups of uh, kale chane. And over here, I have spices that I'll share with you. Over here, one teaspoon, less than one teaspoon of uh, salt, because I, when I boil them, I put some salt in there too, so you don't wanna put too much salt in there. So about, I would say use about uh, half a teaspoon of salt. This is a ground cumin, which I crushed and browned. It's about one tablespoon, one teaspoon of red uh, chili powder, uh, half a teaspoon of um, uh, coriander powder, turmeric is one fourth of a teaspoon, garam masala is one fourth of a teaspoon. I have a recipe in my one of my uh, videos. Uh, and over here, I have chaat masala, about one teaspoon. So these are all the spices that you will be needing for this delicious recipe. Over here, I have cilantro, about uh, one bunch, about one cup chopped. And over here, I have um, onion. That is about big onion, which is half. If it is a small onion, one onion. Two tomatoes over here. If you have Roma tomatoes, take three. And I'm taking some green chilies. Also over here, I have turmeric, um, not turmeric, but, uh, I have over here tamarind, or you can call it imli. I'm taking about two tablespoon of uh, imli or tamarind, and it is in a paste form, and I'll be using that as well. It's right here. So over here, I'm using this uh, imli, which is also called tamarind seedless. And uh, uh, you can find this uh, tamarind uh, or imli in any Indian or Pakistani store. So over here, I have cut the onions into cube form right here. And I will just stir fry them in three to four tablespoons of oil. So here, I'm adding about, like I said, um, three to four tablespoons of oil on the medium heat. Um, I will just stir fry it until it turns golden. Now, as you can see, I chop. I have chopped up this um, cilantro. It is about one cup, and I chopped up these um, green chilies and, of course, the tomatoes. So now, as you can see, the onions have changed color, and they are um, kind of light golden color do you see that and you don't want to turn them into totally um golden color i think that sh this color should be fine it took me like about 10 minutes to 70 minutes so uh it is not 100 percent all golden so it's kind of golden and at this point i will just add the tomatoes and green um green chili tomatoes so here you go, I have added 
of the green chilies and tomatoes into this onion and I am so proud of it like that. And I will close the lid on a medium heat and let it cook for about five minutes. And the cilantro I have left it behind because cilantro I will add it towards the end. So all the spices I will add them. I'm also adding one cup of water. So as I have added one cup of water, now I'm adding these kali chani in there. And now mix them well. Just like that. Mix it and now cover it. Cover it and cook it on a medium high flame for about 10 minutes and they are done and then we'll add cilantro and uh, add uh, turmeric also in the end. So it has been like about 15 minutes on a medium heat, 15 to 20 minutes. As you can see the water has dried up which I added about uh, one and a half cup. Do you see that? There's no more water. Now, on a high flame, I'll just stir it. Like, you know, stir fry it. Just like that. As I'm doing that, if, the, if you see any, um, any tomatoes, just stir, crush them. And also, at this point, I will be adding the cilantro. Also, I'm um, adding about one tablespoon of imli, or um, also you call it tamarind, uh, into this. So, uh, imli you can add as per as your own taste and your how much uh, uh, you want to add. It's, it's totally up to you. I'm just being a little careful, and I added just one full tablespoon of imli, or uh, tamarind. Uh, I'll show you uh, in a packet what the Emily or tamarind looks like if anybody's not familiar. So now at this point since I'm going to be I'm going to be dishing it out you just stir fry it for about 30 seconds um, just like that and dish it out. I think at this point in 30 seconds uh, as you can see there's no water nothing and I am about to dish it out. So I have dished out this kala chana over here for the aftari. And uh, I have not tried it because I'm fasting. But um, I have cooked this recipe before and it came out to be very, very delicious. Well, it's one of the uh, my favorite uh, dish. Please uh, try to make this and write a comment and let me know how you like it. Thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.